Welcome to the ultimate index match tutorial where we'll go over four examples from easy to hard and stick around until the end for one final bonus feature. So let's get into it. First up in level one, we've got a simple index match with one variable. So let's take a look at the example over here, which you can download for free in the video description. So you can see here that we've got a table with the countries and their respective sales. And over here, we want to use an index match to find out the sales for Portugal. So for this, we'll go equals, index is the first part of this function, hit the top key there, and the array here is whatever we're interested in. So we're, right now we're interested in getting sales. So all we need to do is highlight the whole sales area. So just select the first one and hit control shift down arrow to get all the way to the bottom of the data set. Then we'll hit the comma key now we need to match it, right? We want it for Portugal, so we're gonna do the match function. Hit the tab key there, and the lookup value is we're looking for Portugal right now, so this one right up over here, comma, and we're looking for it within a certain range. That's the whole range of countries over here. So we'll select the first one, and again, control shift down to get all the way to the bottom there. We'll hit the comma key again, and for the match type, we wanna have an exact match, so we just type a zero in there, then we'll close the parenthesis, that's closed for the match. And now we need to close it again for the index and hit enter. From here, if we look at the result, you'll see that it says 65,000, which is exactly this number over here. We can also change this to say Spain, and you'll notice that it updates to this other figure. So it's all looking good. Now moving up to level two, and now we have multiple criteria. So over here, you can see that we don't just have the country anymore, but we also have data for the month. So you can see instead of just having January, we have all of these other months. And so that's why we have two criteria now. So for this, we'll start in the same way, equals index, hit the tab key there. And the array for us is what we're interested in. We're interested in sales. So we'll select all of the sales data. So control shift down and control shift right to select all of the sales figures. Hit the comma key there. And now we got to start with the first match. So we'll put the match function, hit the tab key, look up value. Firstly, we're interested in the countries, comma. And secondly, this is gonna be where we can find the countries for the lookup array. So control shift down, comma. And we wanna have an exact match. So we'll put the zero in there and close up parenthesis, hit the comma key again. And now you'll see that we don't just have the row number, but we also have the column. And that's where the second variable comes in. So in our case, it's for the specific month of January. So we're actually gonna use the match function again. Hit the tab key there. And the lookup value for us is gonna be, hey, we're looking for January, comma. And we're looking for January within this range of months. So from this one, we'll select it and then control shift right. Hit the comma key there and we want an exact match, so we'll put a zero in there. Close the parenthesis, and now we need to close it again for this index part. So close and just hit enter. Now you can see that we have the sales in the month of January for Portugal, which is this figure right here, and it seems to be matching. All right, now moving on to level three, where we have a dynamic index match. So here's a scenario. You can see that we've got an income statement, and we wanna find out these specific lines. So the revenue in 2020, gross profit, net income, and same thing for 2022. So in the previous examples, we just had the answer in one cell, but now we need to move it across all these cells. So that formula is going to have to be fixed in certain areas, while it's going to have to be dynamic in others. That's when we'll be using relative referencing. So let's take a look. We'll type equals index, hit the tab key there, and we're interested in all of the figures, so let's select them. This is the first one. Control shift down all the way to the bottom and all the way to the right as well. And now we need to lock these. So we're gonna press the F4 key and you'll notice that we get dollar signs in front of them. This means that when we move them around, they're always gonna stay fixed in this area and not move right or down. We'll hit the comma key there and now we need the first match. Hit the tab key and it's gonna be the revenue but the revenue, we need it to move down. We just don't want it to move across or it's going to go inside these figures. So we can press the F4 key not once, not twice, but three times such that it stays fixed on the column, but not on the rows. We'll hit the comma there and the lookup array is we should find it within this area here. 
So we'll go all the way down to net income, hit the F4 key to lock that. We just need to hit the F4 key once here as we want this to stay fixed. We'll hit the comma, we want an exact match, close up parenthesis, comma again, and now we go for the second part, which is the column. So we'll do a second match. Lookup value, this time we're looking for the years. So this is the first one, and we want this to move horizontally, just not vertically. So we'll hit the F4 key twice on this occasion, such that it stays within this row, but it does move between columns. Hit the comma key, lookup array is all of these years here. So control shift right, and we'll hit the F4 key as we want that to be fixed, comma, zero for an exact match, close the parenthesis, close it again, and we'll hit enter. From here, we can drag this down. So shift down arrow, shift right arrow, control D for down and control R for right. Now to test if it's all okay, we just gotta select the last one and you'll see that it's moved dynamically to net income in 2022, while the first one was at revenue in 2020. So it's all moving well. And if you're enjoying this tutorial and you wanna level up your Excel skills, you can consider checking out our Excel for business and finance course. And what makes this course different is that it's all applied to the real world. While we still cover theoretical lessons like formatting, formulas, and charts, we also offer case studies that simulate the type of work you might be assigned in your day-to-day, -day, ranging from financial modeling to cleaning a data set and presenting some visual insights. We also offer several other courses, including Power BI, VBA, finance and valuation, and more. So if you're interested in checking it out, head over to the link in the description below. All right, back to the video. Next up in level four, we've got an advanced index match. So here's the scenario for it. And you can see that right now we have the countries like we did before with the sales figures, but we now have January duplicated three times because they're split by years. Same thing goes with the other months. And so we actually have three different criteria, one being the country, the year, and also the month. So, so far we've only looked at two criteria, so let's see how we can work on a third one. So first we'll go equals index. Then for the array here, it's going to be all of the sales figures that we're interested in. So control shift down, control shift right, comma. And then we need to do the first match. And this one's straightforward. It's simply the countries, which we've done before. So we're looking for Spain, comma, and we're looking for Spain within this area here. So control shift down, comma, we want an exact match, so we'll put a zero in there and close that parenthesis. Hit the comma key there to move into the columns. And this is where it gets a bit more tricky because we now have two variables left. So what we'll do is put the match function. And now under the lookup value, we need to add two lookup values. We want to look for both the year and the month. So we'll first put in the year and then we're gonna use the ampersand to put in the January as well in there hit the comma key, and same thing goes for the arrays. We have two arrays. So the first one is gonna be the year one. So we'll go over here, control shift right. Then we'll put the ampersand, and we'll add the second one being the months. So control shift right there. So again, we've got ampersand both for the lookup value, because we need two, and for the arrays, because we need two as well. Comma, we want an exact match. Close the parenthesis and close it again and hit enter there. So Spain, January 2021, this figure here seems correct. If we search this over to say Italy, it seems to move dynamically and it's all correct as well. Now moving on to the bonus section and the main limitation with an index match is if there's multiple values with the same name. For example, if you had Spain more than once, it wouldn't be able to aggregate those together and sum them. So let's take a look at an example with a possible solution. So you can see over here we have salespeople and the thing is here that we have Steven mul multiple times. So we have it here once and a few more times down below. And that's why an index match doesn't make sense if you wanna sum all of them. So the sales for Steven in the month of January, for example. So here we're going to have to use some different functions. And the first one that comes to mind is using a filter so we'll go equals filter, hit the tab key there, and the array, well, we're interested in sales, 
So we'll select all of the sales figures. So control shift down, control shift right, comma. And then what we want to include, well, we want to include Stephen. So we're going to put all of the salespeople here, control shift down, and we want those to equal to Stephen. We'll close the parenthesis and hit enter. And so you can see that we now have a ton of data and that's basically all of Steven's rows. So this one up over here is this very first row of data for him. And so we need to somehow filter it down. And that's because we don't have the second criteria, which is that we want it in the month of January. So we need to add a second filter on top of this. So at the very beginning here, we're gonna put the filter fo formula again, hit the tab key. The array is this whole area that we have. So we're just gonna go to the end, hit a comma key, now we need to apply the second filter, which is that we want it within the months. So control shift right to select all of the months. And we want those to equal to the month of January. We'll close up parenthesis and hit enter. And so now we only have Steven's data for the month of January. But from here, it obviously doesn't look too great. That's because we need to sum these three. So at the beginning of this filter function, we're going to use the sum function hit the tab key there, and then we don't need to put anything. We just need to close the parenthesis at the end and hit enter. That's basically summed all of Steven's figures in the month of January. And again, this is all dynamic, so I can change this to Billy. And it's going to update to Billy over here in the month of January. So he's duplicated as well. For more on Excel formulas, check out this video over here to learn all about lookup functions or check out this link over here to take our Excel course. Hit that like and that subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.